Morgan Ranch has started out with Walt Morgan and then Walt was born right up the creek up here in Pole Bridge, uh, spent his life here. He and Grace were married about 50 years and they put several smaller places together here to make this base ranch. We've added Range Ride and the place in Rome and several things to it over the years just to keep it as a viable ranch and continue to be able to operate and run cows. The best part of this ranch, all the old timers say they've never seen a crop failure on Jordan Creek. Some years may be a little better than others. Last year was probably tough years we'd ever see, but we always manage to get by. We don't have to liquidate our cows. We change a few things, do a few things different, and especially now with the place at Rome, we can grow plenty of hay and still be able to function as a working ranch, even like we had a fire here a couple of years ago and, and we're still able to work things around and stay in business. With the improvements in our irrigation system, with our pivots and stuff, we can grow plenty of hay to support the cows and feed our calves. We feed them for 60, 70 days after we wean them and still able to sell hay. The cows turn out here in the spring right around the home ranch here. It makes it very easy to turn them out. We'll wean the calves in June and then we go to the high country and it's up there, higher elevation, cooler. The cows do a lot better. Then coming back in the fall, we come right back in here and then go on down to Rome, the lower country and warmer climate down there. The location in this unit 40, we have a huge elk herd in the whole unit and it's become kind of a trophy place for people to come and hunt. We have a lot of deer around here early in the spring. They come up through here from their winter range back to the mountain and so we get a lot of traffic then up high. We get a lot of those big bucks will stay up there in those mahogany trees and stuff and so we see quite a few of them. The antelope come through here in the spring and Grace Morgan always said when the antelope cross here, that's when spring's here. And so that's, we're always really, really glad to, to see the antelope show up in the spring because we know spring is here even though it doesn't feel like it some days. We're eligible for landowner tags in all three of those species. There is a archery season on all of them as well as rifle. And then we get some depredation elk tags right here just because of the amount of them we have on our property. We get a lot of geese traps through here and it seems like there more of them live here year round than used to and we've got pheasants showing up which we never used to see and we've got quite a few of them showing up we used to have lots of quail they kind of vary up and down but we have quail that stay here pretty much year round the scenery on this ranch is tremendously different Rome is a in the middle of the desert. I still can't believe this water that runs there and pillars of Rome are right there. It's a very unique setting. Just being able to look up at South Mountain every day, it's quite the scenery. South Mountain stays white a lot of the winter and, and into the spring. And so you've got a very varied scenery from desert to high mountain. And so it makes it kind of a unique spot in the different terrain and different scenery. and. It's a pretty nice place to be. You know, like every parent or every person or whatever, you know, your hope for these ranches is that they will remain working ranches down the road to whoever has the opportunity and gets the opportunity to operate it. And we would hope we have set up a good base here where someone can either add to it or operate it as it is. It will operate as a standing ranch or you could add to it either one. It's been added too many times over the years. And you know, these, these ranches change and, and they have had to get bigger to be sustainable. You know, depending on how many people somebody would want to support or whatever, but they keep changing. Different ones come up for sale for different reasons. People have to change and move on. And it would still be our hope that it would remain ranching and be a benefit to the community and keep moving on.